but when we look at some of the other attributes when, you, when you're hiring a marketing consultant, um, Drew, you mentioned trustworthiness. Let's let's now talk about or expand on the conversation of the, the proven methodology and or the process. So we know every business runs on processes, right? You can break those processes down to the sales process, marketing process, customer support process, the onboarding or client intake process, right? You got all these other processes, manufacturing, product service delivery. So we talk about a methodology or a proven methodology. We have ours generate, capture, store, and nurture. So let's expound on that. Uh, so if a, a consultant comes in to play with an organization and let's say he doesn't, he or she doesn't have a proven process, is that a is that a pro or con when when trying to then take the take a look at this person, an objective look at this person's process and or marketing process. Let's get more defined. And is that something that it can hurt or hinder the, the consultant? Yeah, I think I think one of the keys when looking for you know who to hire as a marketing consultant is to see if they have a process and why I think it's key is because what one of the things that a method system or a process does for you is ensures that you don't forget anything. It ensures that you're able to have consistent success because you know you've you're you're following the the formula every time. Not not to say that you know one size fits all, but what a what a process does is it allows you to say, hey, I'm going to develop the specific shoe for your business, and I'm going to go through the same steps to customize that shoe for you. And that ensures that that we don't make mistakes, that we don't forget something, that something isn't overlooked. You know that we're looking at the whole picture. Um, and I think a, a side benefit, you know, speaking specifically, you know, how we do business with our genetic capture store nurture. One of the benefits of our process is it's easier to digest for the client. It's easier for the client to understand what's happening when they're looking at, okay, we're, follow, we're, we're going through these things one at a time and I can, it, you know, it's easier to visualize, you know, what's happening. So, you know, definitely I think, you know, a proven process is key. Yeah, you know, you can, you can take the mad scientist approach to this and uh, come up with a, with a crazy idea. You hire a marketing consultant without a process, and maybe they'll come up with a crazy idea or generate a, a viral video that gets 2 million hits on YouTube or catch lightning in a bottle. But without a process, um, you're really, you know, crossing your fingers and hoping for dumb luck. Uh, with a process, you know where your consultant stands. You know the, you know the next thing that's going to happen. You know uh, the outline for what's about to occur. You've got that in front of you, and your consultant is going to have that in front of you. You can hold each other accountable in that process. Right. Well, I, I think that's you know one of the key things you just said is accountability. Is because you have an outline, a system in place. Not only can the marketing consultant hold you accountable, the client to um, do their tasks that they need to do, but also they can hold you accountable because the, the system is outlined on, on paper for all to see. It's not, you know, it's not, uh, you know, behind the, the curtain. You know, the wizard's behind the curtain. Nobody look behind the curtain. <laughs> no, I like that. No one look behind the curtain. The yeah, wizard's no back there the just curtain. waving his wand and, and doing his thing, right? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the process definitely, for me, the process definitely instills the, in, in a lot of to work. Like Drew says, don't forget anything, kind of like this checklist, um, sort of. And then also it instills the principles of a certain thing. So the principles of a marketing campaign, you always have to have lead generating items. Always it should have a capture source, should have somewhere to store the lead. It should be nurturing, right? So that's a principle-based methodology that can be used across any industry, right? It doesn't matter if it's real estate. It doesn't matter if it's if it's uh, pharmaceuticals, it doesn't matter if it's med device or whatever, that same marketing process can be utilized across any sort of certain industry. And if you adhere to the principles, and one, you don't forget things, you've got that little checklist, and two, you definitely have some sort of visual aspect that you can, that you can give to the client. So 
we learn by audio, visual, and kinesthetic, right? So hearing it may not be good enough. Maybe they can read it also. And okay, but when some people are very, very visual, and you add the visual component to it, then they start to really. I mean, how many times have we been in the client? We show them generic capture score nerds, and they're like, ah, I get it, right? We give them the full yeah. chart, right? It's just, it just pops in their head. So, yeah. So we talk about um, instilling the process. That's something that we're going to continue to carry out. Um, what you what so, you talked about, Granison, is you know basically a checklist for you know hey what things should a marketing consultant do for you? I mean you kind of started going through a checklist, you know. We said you know number one they need to have a process that they're going to instill in your company, uh, you know, so that you can see the vision on paper. And we and you said number two or Dustin mentioned it. Number two, hold them accountable hold each other accountable for accomplishing the goals as part part of what you need to do. What would you say, Granison, are other things on that checklist besides having a process and holding each other accountable? Uh, the, one, the ability to deliver. I mean, there are sometimes I've, I've heard other clients say to us that they hired a marketing consultant and that consultant or the consultants didn't have the ability to deliver. I.e., one client who just came back to us, no, no, no names, but they, they, hire, they hire some consultant that couldn't deliver on something that we have already instilled within the client, right? So yeah. not being able to deliver is, is I mean, that's, that's I mean, the, the, excuse me, the ability to deliver is essential because if you don't deliver, you, you do not have, the, I mean, you don't have the client's attention at all from that point forward. Because then they don't know. What, then they're going to ask that question, what are you doing for me, right? We've heard that, client, that question before. Any consultant out there is what they saw has probably heard that question before because that has made them get better. What are you doing for, for me? So that's, that's one of the major pieces to me is the ability to deliver on uh, what, they, what they promise. Um, well, I would the, say, to your point, the ability to deliver, I think that boils down to... Are you solving their problem? Are you solving the problem? Right. Yeah. I mean, if you're delivering on, you know, what you said you would do, then you're solving their problem. That's really what a consultant is is for, is to solve a problem. Yeah, if, that's all a problem. Yeah, if you're solving their problem, then, you know, that's a key part of the checklist. In, the, 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 in general. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say that's – you know, when you talk about are you solving their problem, that we use that phrase in a general term because oftentimes when we go through the consulting process with the client, uh, it's in that process we identify all the things that need to be taken care of, all the tasks that need to be done. Uh, and sometimes uh, those tasks fall on the client. So oftentimes it's the client solving his own problem. It's just a matter of us holding them accountable for it. So, yeah. hey, you, you didn't follow up with this lead or or you have this entire list of, of people that you haven't contacted in six months uh, or what's happening with this campaign, you're not, you're not following up with it. Uh, sometimes solving the problem isn't necessarily us solving the problem, but us holding them accountable. Yeah, yeah. for sure. What's the key? Accountability piece is key. And any consultant, any and every consultant, also like we were talking about before, should hold them accountable to some of the things that they should should be doing, especially when obtaining information to that. So again, it's absolutely protected by the client. They're going to have to go in the system. The, the, the consultant may not have access to their system, so they're going to have to go into the system to grab the data, grab the information, deliver it to the the consultant so they, they, they can then take the data and scrub it and do whatever else they need to do in order to get the desired result. For us, it's all about ROI. So we look at consulting and we have a deliverable that we get for our client 